Now, in the beginning, when I first went out and got this power supply, I was a little skeptical and I was wondering, like, I really don't need a thousand watt power supply. And the price was about almost 200 and something dollars after taxes on Amazon. I think they have it now for about 170, 75 dollars. But after using it for approximately three to four months right now. I must say it's a good power supply and future proof for like if you're ever going to upgrade your card and all that. One of the only problems that I have with it after using it for this time is that it does get hotter than what my actual Corsair 750 watt power supply used to get. But you got to expect it, right? If you're getting more wattage, uh, what have you. And sometimes I feel like, is the fan even on? So those are things that you want to take into consideration. But overall, I hear that it's an awesome power supply. I mean, I find it awesome and it's worked for me. It's still been working. And I just feel comfortable with the fact that I can plug other things into my PC and not worry if it's enough power coming out of it. So the only thing that I could point at and pick about, it's that. That when I touch my PC, I feel like, not immediately, it takes like four hours of use. And then, all right, this thing is getting hot. And I think that's when the fan kicks in for what I was told. Uh, you can leave in the comments if I'm right on that. Make sure that when you're using this power supply that you always remove that little plastic piece. Because that's a mistake that I did in the past with my other power supply. <laughs> and then I wind up taking it off. Like when I went to clean out my PC, I noticed like, oh, I didn't even remove this. So it has a little cool logo there. And even though the older one that you can see right there said Corsair. And I don't know. I think I like this one better. And I'm meaning the older one where it says Corsair. As when it comes to uh, like things you're looking at, right? But overall, the RM, which this is the 2001 edition. So there's an older one. And this one, they upgraded it. Another thing is it's humongous. So it's like exactly tight fit right there for my uh, mid-tower PC case. So you got to make sure you have enough space. Because even the top piece where I was just touching could rub on the top of your case. If you have them blocks over your case like that block the power supply or conceal it in there. Uh, so you want to be aware of all these things. I put it upside down. A lot of people want to put it the right way facing up. I don't know. I just caught a habit of putting it upside down. Uh, I don't know where I got that from. I think I saw somebody do it one time. And I was like, oh, it looks better that way. Uh, that's my system before when I started getting it together. This is like in the middle. I'm always upgrading. So I had this mixer. It was awesome. And this is what it looked like in the middle. You know, and I was just showing like little pics of how it all came about. Then I switched to the GoXLR. That's me building PCs. When I actually got, uh, I didn't get it at that time, but I put it in my PC. And was like, now that I'm building other PCs for these clients that I had and the kids, uh, I might as well go ahead and take my PCs apart and throw in the tech stuff that I had that was laying around in boxes that I had ordered. So there's other affordable po power supplies like that 500 watt power supply that you see right there on the desk. That it could be a good alternative to the 1000 watt. If you don't need a 1000 watts, right now, uh, them Cyper uh, power supplies. Is it Cyper? Yeah, Cyper. Uh... If I can see well from right here, actually 500 watts, uh, gold, 
Some of them come white, what have you. But I normally like to buy gold. I think they are on sale for like 50 bucks right now. And these things, uh, you could pay $200, $300, and two weeks later, it's 50 bucks. Then you go buy it, and it's back to 500 It's just the way tech works. It goes up and down. But overall, I think that even this build that you see right there was awesome. And that's a B550 Asus uh, motherboard uh, with a Y56 Windows 11. It comes with, uh, I still incorporate Windows 10 because I still use Windows 10. I don't think Windows 11 is ready. And for the CPU there, it's actually uh, 5600 g with integrated graphics so you don't really need a graphics card but of course it's more proper that you have a actual graphics card but those cpus are pretty strong for the price point i think right now they're on a super sale if a hundred and something dollars or 120 or maybe lower now uh this was like a week ago that i looked so these things go down in price value and up up and down so that's the way it is the ram sticks are still like uh 70 something to 100 dollars by corsair i'll put some of the links in the description to this video in case you want to get some of these products the mouse that's there is the razor uh death editor is an awesome mouse uh that graphics card is amazing i think there's eight gig or at the least six but it's a pretty good build for the price point. Right now, I think in that build right there, you won't even spend. You're definitely going to spend $500. But it, it depends on the timing that you're buying this stuff on Amazon. Right? Like if you're buying towards Christmas, you know, the prices skyrocket. The RAM, you always want to get two sticks of eight for you can have dual channel i think that's what i was explaining there that case there's there is awesome i think it's a hundred dollars right now on amazon so that's a pretty budget built right now for today and if bought when i built it it was way more and it's just amazing how the prices change that it sometimes it makes you feel kind of like oh my god like you got me right but it is what it is it's the way this market works that's another awesome case right there that I was taking a look at. And we're going to move right along on this. That's when I was uh, putting the PCs together with the fans and all that. That motherboard is amazing. And I had that motherboard for approximately, not too long, but I had it for about a year. And that's the B450 Asus gigabit motherboard and right now in my pc at home i have the x570 plus by asus tough and not for nothing the motherboard that you see in this video it's a b450 and it's a thousand times better than this so-called you know some consider it a, a upgrade of the x570 I don't personally that but that's my personal preference and a lot of times it depends on the combo what you're mixing it with so right now as a processor I have a 5800x which the 5800x with the x570 a thousand watt power supply uh nvme dot two drive uh two terabytes it it could produce a lot of heat and still in all i have a corsair uh water cooling radiator and it still produces a lot of heat so you got to make sure that your pc is cool because that's where most of your problems will come from a lot of the time some of these motherboards come with two uh sockets right like the power to the motherboard a eight pin and a four pin i noticed that a lot of times i was just plugging in the eight pin and leaving the four pin out and then you get some crashes and some games can it run on an eight pin of course but 
just like my X570 is just on an 8 pin. And I think today I'm going to take it apart and plug in the other one. Because it's starting to get uh, more heavy lows on my PC. And now it's starting to crash. And I guess because now I'm playing heavier games. A set of Corsa. Uh, I racing. I got the wheel bundle. You know, things like that. It's like, all right, now we're going to need a little more power, buddy. You're playing around, right? So I just think that the story is amazing when you see how far we've come from telling prison stories and me being a gang member for almost 30 years of my life to where it's at today, building computers, doing great things for people, making people happy, making myself happy, explaining to people what is a NVMe drive, what is a SSD card, which one could you get that works, me talking about I just built three computers for some kids, Dominican family in the Bronx. And let's see if these things light up. It's just an amazing transition. And if you pay attention to the story, how can one hate on that? So, wow. That one turned on. Next. Amazing. That case in the middle, by the way, is mesh. And it was awesome. Look at that. It's magic. But what's more magic is this. Those colors look sick in the dark, bro. But look at the face. Of these kids. Yo. So now, oh yeah, this is my boy. Ha- I want. This is mine. So, yeah. They're all the same, I think. Wait, let me see, son. Oh, Wait. Is that a course here telling me? Yeah, let me see. What's new? Yo, mine look better. Not, not to be. Yo. Built in steel. Yeah. I'll put it back. Put it back. Yeah. Wait, 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 watch our fingers. We opening up the oldest. Watch Possibly. Leo, 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 this right here, that right here, damn, now this thing broke, the, um, Dad, you want me to pull it back? No, it's not even nice, but it's tight as hell, it's tight as hell, it's You said we put it back in the box, right? Not yet. We made these boxes, right? No, they came with them. To the basura, buddy. Put it in the garbage. Check this right now. They all got messed up. Yeah. I left the plastic on for y'all. Yeah, so we can take it off. Oh, you can leave it on. Who's happy? Me. Hey, what do y'all got to say to Warpath? Thank you. All right. Uh, no, there's two. Yeah, there's one with the mesh right here. That's what he was talking about. Babe. Wait, love them. Upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> what do you mean the mesh? Yeah. The front, you know, look. The front. This one goes to this, right? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna put it up here and take a shot out to that boy, Wall.